Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is skincare. And I want to start by mentioning that I believe that our skin appearance depends on what we are eating for the most part and everything that happens inside our body will show on our skin. So first and foremost, I try to maintain my health and of course I try to eat as healthy as possible. And also I want to mention that my skin is combination. I have oily skin on my forehead, my nose and my chin area and on my cheeks I have sometimes dry to normal skin depending on the season. I think that in winter my skin is a little bit more dry. Now let's get to the products which I want to show you and I want to mention one important thing that I try to get consultation from my esthetician so she will advise me the products I need and I avoid picking products myself because I used to do that in the past and this didn't work out for me. So I solely rely on estheticians advice. And so far my skin has been the best it could be. Sometimes I love to try different products but I do have those products that make a base for my skincare and also I forgot to mention that my skin is sensitive and problematic so that I do not have acne but I get pimples from time to time and also if I eat a little bit more chocolate or candies I definitely will get the pimple. So this is how it works my body and I try to eliminate these products or at least eat them as less as possible. Although I really really love chocolate. I've been going to different estheticians and all of them told me that on the estheticians language my skin is considered dirty. That means that I don't have one specific big problem. I do have all of the skin concerns but very little amount. For example, I do get pimples from time to time. I have a little signs of rosacea on my cheeks. I do have clogged pores. I do have a little bit of oily skin, a little bit of dry skin and Unfortunately, I do not get younger and also I do have wrinkles here and there. <laughs> so this is the type of skin I have. So I want to start talking about cleanser. I use, I use it in the morning as well as in the evening. And one of the cleansers I love and this is my favorite cleanser is Zoskin Health Exfoliating Cleanser. I adore this product. I use it all the time. I've been using this cleanser for, I think, eight years and I love it. This cleanser has little tiny particles in it. I don't know if they exfoliate like um, exfoliator, but this cleanser does cleanse the face really, really well and even if I wear makeup, I also remove my makeup with this cleanser. I do not use any kind of oils before I cleanse my skin. So I would say that if you love to wear heavy makeup, I would use oily cleansers or balm cleansers first and then this one. But if you wear light makeup, this cleanser will do this job perfectly and you do not need any other cleanser. This is my opinion and this is my experience with this one. So I tried to remove light makeup with this one and it worked perfectly. So this is the cleanser I prefer using in the morning as well as in the evening. So since I've started with cleansing I want to go on with exfoliators. 
and I use two exfoliators. So I've talked about that I try not to pick products myself. I try to listen to esthetician's advice and so by her advice I've been using Image Illuma Intense Brightening Exfoliating Powder. This is a very interesting product. I've been using these kind of products in the past. I don't remember the brand, but there are several brands with exfoliating powders. So this product is, as it says on the packaging, a powder. It has two dots on the cap. And so you pour this powder on your palm in the size of half of a teaspoon approximately. Then you take a little bit of water, mix it with your fingers and massage it all over your face for two minutes. And this step I repeat every other day. And so, as I understood, these kind of products are good for sensitive skin and this is why my esthetician advised me this powder. And another product which I personally tried 10 years ago and I loved it, although it is not recommended for sensitive skin, I do love it and I've been repurchasing this product over and over again as well as exfoliating cleanser. This one is Zoskin Health Exfoliating Polish. This is the product which is familiar to a lot of people. Um, what I love about this product, it does have very beautiful spa scent and it has really small particles which pretty effectively removes dead skin cells and this polish i use once a week before i apply my mask and i also massage it all over my face for two minutes as well as the exfoliating powder and after this polish i use moisturizing mask so speaking of masks i have only two of them one is moisturizing and another one is exfoliating since my skin has different problems but in a small amount <laughs> i do have a lot of products to combat these problems so after exfoliator i apply Gigi lotus buttermilk mask i apply it for 20 minutes and then I rinse out. So these two products I use every fifth day. And second mask I have a Zoskin Health Complexion Clearing Mask. This one is blue clay mask and what I really love about this one is that it effectively removes excess sebum and clears the pores pretty well. So this product is also the one that I purchase over and over again and I use it in rotation. So my skincare routine in the morning consists of quite a few products, <laughs> as you could imagine. For my eyes I use Image Restoring Recovery Eye Gel and this eye gel has kind of a moussey texture and I use it only in the morning and I've been using it for a month I think but this product is new to me so I can't really tell right now if I love it or not but so far so good I love that it moisturizes my under eyes and we'll see if I love it or not so after I apply my eye gel I apply serum to my face. This one is IS Clinical Active Serum. This serum contains acids and I apply it all over the face before my moisturizer. I love this serum because I see that my skin loves different kinds of acids that prevent clogged pores and pimples. This is what I've noticed it does for my skin. And after the serum, I apply Jean Marini Transformation Face Cream Step 4. This cream has very beautiful light scent and I really love the texture. Although my skin is sometimes normal, I 
still prefer using quite emollient face creams. I feel like they moisturize my skin the best. This is also a new product to me and so we'll see how I like this one. But so far all of the products I have shown you and will be showing next I really love and they transform my skin. So, so far I love what they do. So these are the products I use in the morning and in the evening. I cleanse my skin with the same cleanser as I've mentioned before. Sometimes every second day I use intense brightening exfoliating powder. I use exfoliators only at night. So this is the product I use in my nighttime skincare routine. Next, after I've cleansed my face, I apply my eye product and this one is Image Skincare Ageless Total Eye Lift Cream. This is also a new product to me. So I try to incorporate in my skincare routine anti-aging products and this is why I wanted to start using eye creams with retinol and this product has retinol in it. And as far as I'm concerned, you're supposed to use your retinols in the evening. So this is what I apply under my eyes. Then I continue with serum. This one is Eyes Clinical Gen XC Serum. This serum has vitamin C. So this serum and active serum which I use in the morning I've been using for a long time and I keep on using and I love them. And after the serum I apply Reparative Moisture Emulsion from the same brand. This is the product I've been using for a long time as well and I adore this cream. This emulsion is very light consistency and it gives skin glass-like effect. You can see a reflection from your skin. This is an amazing, amazing product. So these are my base products for the evening and Recently I've started using retinol 1% and this one is Jean Marini Age Intervention Retinol Plus MD. This product is no joke. I've been using retinols in the past but in much lower percentage. And so I've started using this product only once a week. And I keep on peeling. I wouldn't say that my skin experience is drastic peeling but still it is a little bit uncomfortable because when I do not wear makeup I don't see the peeling of the skin but when I apply makeup I do see some flakiness on my nose and around my mouth area but I will keep using this product for my skin to adapt to it. So the night I'm using this product I do not use serum and cream I just use it on its own and my eye cream. So these are the main products I use in the morning and at night and I also have this product. I've almost run out of it. I have a little bit at the bottom and so I have a backup. This one is Zoskin Health Acne Control. This is the product I use for my pimples and since I never know where the pimple decides to appear I use it all over my face two times a week in the evening before moisturizer. This is the product I cannot live without. This product gives me clear beautiful skin. So I love all the products I use but my most favorite products are this one because it really makes a drastic difference to my skin appearance and also I love this product. This is phenomenal moisturizer. So if you need a good good moisturizer and light consistency suits you, I highly recommend this product. And this is it with a skincare. And the last product I have, I do not consider it a skincare although it says it has a hyaluronic acid in it. This one I've been talking about in one of my previous videos from Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. 
I've been using it for a week I guess and I really love the light glow it gives and this is what I've been looking for in self tanners. I used to use a self tanning oil from this brand but they discontinued that one and so I use this instead and so far so good. So I want to finish by saying that I advise you to maintain healthy diet and before you get your products definitely consult with a esthetician because they know better how your skin will react to certain products and which products are best for your skin because we are all different. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I gave you a hint on which products you could use for your skin. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, liking my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Put thumbs up if you liked it and see you in my next video.